this video will have a look at uh, issues specific to first year filing of a T2. Specifically, we'll cover first year filing related issues, including info tab entries, including any adjustments to the year end, Schedule 101, and Schedule 24. Let's go have a look at a first year return in profile. I'm in a return with a date of incorporation in 22. Same, uh, have to do the same steps based on any year, but uh, in this case, it's 2022, September 9th. What I can see here is there's a lot of warnings for last year's information. So this should not be what we want for a first year return. So if I look over here, there is first year of filing after incorporation. So that's a yes. When we click yes, it'll let us know that we have to complete schedule 24 and schedule 101. We can do that. I just want to look here, it's um, first year after filing. So this question is actually a question on the T2 jacket. This is the first year of filing after incorporation. So any questions that are on the T2 jacket, generally speaking, would be pulled from entries on the info tab, just like the uh, first year of filing. Okay, so now we have warnings here. What happens though is that um, some people want the fiscal year to match the calendar year. So what they want to do, what you want to do is maybe make the year end December 31st of the year of incorporation. That way the calendar year and the fiscal year of the corporation will match. So next year, the return will be from January 1st to December 31st. Sometimes that makes it a little easier to keep track of things. So that is no problem. We can do that. And that's, we're okay here. This month of extension, there was no last year, so I'm just going to sign that off. So the only thing we have left here... Well, there's a warning about installments, but you can look into that with CRA's information. Let's look at Schedule 24. You have to complete this. It's uh, first-time filers. So I'm just going to say it's other. And that warning goes away. Usually the um, balance sheet at the end of the year, previous year, will be the opening balance sheet for this year. But this corporation didn't have a last year. So what CRA wants is the balance sheet when the corporation opened. So usually there's something that the corporation has. It could be equipment or an office or whatever. But maybe it has $1,000 in cash for common shares, let's say. One way or another, CRA wants this. CRA wants a, an open balance sheet. So there's some tax considerations you might have to look at here. But right now I can see the return can be filed. There's no RSI warnings, no e-file errors, and it shows as eligible. This is not a real return, just a demonstration. But let's go see what happens if I e-file. I can transmit this return and it will build. I can go on to the next step and Profile will ask me how I want to file, whether I want to file with an e-file number, ask for a web access code, or enter a web access code that I already have. Um, since this is not a re real return, I will... So if I have an e-file number, I can just accept. If I want to request an e uh, a web access code when I file, I can click that one and accept, and it will file. But this is not a return, just a demonstration, so I'll decline. And that's it. Most of the information you'll need to do to enter 
for a first year return will be on the info page. Schedule 24 and Schedule 101 also need. That was a look at the first year filer forms. Uh, of course, you'll have to do any other forms uh, the return would require. Schedule 100, Schedule 125, S6, S7, S8. This was just a, a look at the first year filer specific forms and not any other forms that might be required for a first year filing return. I hope you found this video helpful. And there's more support options at our website. It's profile.intuit.ca.